Welcome, everybody, to the Warbird Games Fantasy Workshop. My name is Stacey Davidson, and I am here endeavoring in my garage to create a traditional adventure game for the computer that embodies the spirit of the Edgar Rice Burroughs worlds that are near and dear to my heart, as well as uh, hard-boiled 30s, 40s, and 50s science fiction, bubble helmets, rockets, and ray guns, and of course, the stop-motion creations of Ray Harryhausen play a huge role in all of my inspirations for this project. Now here's the deal. I would like to invite all of you to join me here in the workshop for the whole adventure right here on YouTube. Are you in? Because if so, then let's get started. is an adventure game with a traditional point-and-click interface and some very non-traditional artwork. The characters will be completely created in stop-motion using puppets uh, with armatures like this that will be animated one frame at a time uh, in stop-motion and photographed uh, and put in the game that way. So they're not going to be 3D graphics. They're not going to be pixel art. The backgrounds will also not be uh, 3D rendered and they will not be any kind of uh, pixel art. Not that there's anything wrong with pixel art, but this is something different. I am creating backdrops using traditional sort of miniature techniques like foam cutting here. Uh, here's another piece that I created and photographed recently. A sort of creepy steps leading up into a big door with a skull. This was another uh, background from the game that I created to be the interior of the rocket. And you can see it's actually kind of somewhat based on, if you're familiar with old 60s TV, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. There was a vehicle called the Flying Sub in the interior. It looks fantastic. And I liked it so much I built something very similar using foam. This has already been shot and photographed to put into the game. Right now it's actually hanging here on my wall. Here we have some walls for that particular set. And these are actually just made out of foam core and hot glue and stuff like that. Um, the, the sheet metal look there, that's just created with little styrene uh, pieces that you can buy at hobby stores. Uh, the door mech there, mechanisms are just uh, for, you know switches from like radios and things like that. Just really simple stuff. That's actually dollhouse trim on the wall. And wanted to go for something that kind of looks like 40s hard-boiled sci-fi kind of look inside the rocket with steel walls and whatnot and, and greasy uh, controls and stuff. But with this kind of traditional hardwood uh, trim to give it sort of a classic feel. And these pieces were all put together and photographed one by one uh, to look as if they were all in place at the same time inside 
the uh, the interior. Of course, uh, I only created half of the the the, the deck um, up there, and that part will be mirrored to give the the illusion that there's a complete deck. Um, this is all time-saving stuff, you know, that lets me spend less time making, you know, repetitive model pieces and more time coming up with new and exciting things to model. Once all of the walls were completely built, uh, completed, painted, painstakingly detailed, it was time for the photography session. Now this is the process of getting each wall into place and photographing it in uh, the correct lighting to uh, give me the illusion, once these were all put together in Photoshop, that all of these walls are up at the same time. Now of course I had a perfect plan in place. Uh, originally, I, I knew what I was going to do, I had it all figured out, and then it changed, everything changed, because I realized that I've just, I hadn't given myself uh, the ability to light it from underneath the grate, and I was kind of killing the whole point, the whole purpose of having uh, the grate down there, being able to, uh, you know, shoot light through that grate, I had to take advantage of that. So I moved the whole thing up and it ended up bumping the set a lot during photography, but you know, hopefully I can fix all that in Photoshop. This is a V2 rocket uh, model kit. German missile V2. That's all it is. I wanted it to look a little bit uh, more sci-fi. Now, this rocket kit is is very often used in old sci-fi movies, um, but I really wanted to give it a, a bit of a different look. So what I've done is now these are the the wings. I've got putty on them, uh, so they're not. not uh, of course, they're unpainted. Uh, this, these are the wings that are the fins that came with the rocket. Um, what I've done is I've augmented those, uh, two of them anyway, with plexiglass. You could use styrene, I just didn't have any lying around. But uh, uh, So I've got two very thin pieces of plexiglass glued into place and putty. Um, it's, it's ugly. Uh, when it's sanded down, it won't look nearly as bad. Um, I don't want it to look completely perfect. I want it to look like a real piece of hardware, which actually would would be a bit messy. Uh, these are just little missiles, and I'm actually going to augment them a bit. I've used the drill press to drill little holes in the center of the tips so that I can extend them.
Okay, so this is the the rocket uh, all put together here, and uh, obviously it's not glued in place yet. But that's that's kind of what it'll look like with the uh, the fins on. And uh, as soon as it's completely uh, completely finished, uh, I will go ahead and start the paint job, paint it up, and weather it. That's that's my favorite part, the weathering. Um, Lots of little little drips and things going on. Get it get it really nice and uh, used, like it's been sitting on the tarmac and like it's you know taken off through the the atmosphere and got some scorching going on and, and all of that. Uh, this is going to be a piece that will actually open up and there will be an escape pod that will come out of there. And I'll show you the escape pod because I have already built that. The escape pod is up here. That is the escape pod. So this little guy, of course this is not in scale, uh, but this little guy will pop out. And uh, here we go, we're gonna put it under some moody lighting here. Some weathering and some greasy paint there. Make it look nice and gross. And look like it's come through the atmosphere once or twice. Had some adventures. You are now peering inside and now you can get a, a look here at the uh, escape pod uh, as it will appear pretty much in the game. This is the, the rocket model and uh, as you can see it has uh, it's been it's been finished um, or at least has been painted but the uh, the modeling work is done here I've got the uh, all the work done here on the uh, getting the wings attached and sanded down. So that's what it's going to kind of look like screaming through the sky there. So um, without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to cut this video. I'm going to get it on YouTube. And I'm going to see you guys in another episode very soon. And thank you so much for watching uh, the adventures of Jack Houston unfold. And this is just the beginning. And uh, thank you so much for being a part of the journey with me here on YouTube.